You are watching AP TV. <clears throat> hey there, this is Ben Dunn, creator of Antarctic Press. Just thinking about things, and um, I recently uh, watched a little bit of Velma on HBO Max, which I have, and but I may continue to uh, uh, question viability of holding on to it especially since they announced they're going to increase the price i just don't see much of a value i figure if i want to watch anything on hbo max i'll just subscribe for a month and watch what i want and then cancel it after that but uh i don't know watching this velma um and for those who don't know velma is based on a character from the uh, 1970s scooby-doo cartoon series um, <clears throat> I'm sure many of you know who or what is Scooby-Doo, so I won't go into detail. But uh, it got me thinking as uh, who the heck is this? Is this show for? I mean, I'm thinking that uh, way it's way too violent. It's too sexualized for younger viewers. Um, it's it's too really idiotic for older viewers, and. Um, it's just probably just uncool and inane for teenagers and young adults. I mean, don't get me wrong. If you like the series, that's great. But uh, for me, it just seems um, this is a, uh, a symptom of a greater issue at hand. Is that uh, why are companies intent on really screwing up our childhood memories? You know, they're taking all the best IPs that we grew up with well me personally I'm a boomer I was born in 64 so I grew up uh, during the 70s and 80s and the 90s and such so I've seen a lot of these shows and I've become great fans of them and I just wonder what is their end goal I mean it's not like they're taking these IPs and trying to you know um, attract a new generation of fans. I mean, I know George Lucas may not have uh, done a great job on the prequels, but I tell you what, uh, the prequels intended audience, which was kids, grew up with it, and they're now fans of the, of the prequels. And uh, that's exactly what they should be doing. They should be following George Lucas' example, taking a property and aiming it at the audience that you intend to you to entertain. And so it's it seems at odds to me that they would continue to do something like this and continue to destroy these IPs. I mean, I heard that Star Wars is no longer an evergreen property. I mean, to say that it's it's mind-boggling. I I just don't understand the reasoning. It's it's like they don't want to make money. You know, or they just have some for some agenda that drives them to want to uh, insert their own, you know, ideology and philosophy into an IP that they did not create. You know, I mean, this is also a problem with the comics industry too. A lot of writers are inserting ideas and things into comics now, that uh, into characters that they didn't create. And this is the basic problem: is that, you know, if you are the steward of something you did not create then you need to really take care of it. I mean, a lot of people are saying, oh, you know, we're stewards of the planet, you know, and stuff like that, but they don't really show it. You know, they, they don't really practice what they preach. And, and this is something that I think is going to continue to be a problem until, you know, they finally wise up that uh, this isn't working and we need to make money. I mean, that's really what it comes down to. Anyway, uh, those are my thoughts, and uh, until next time, this is Ben Dunn, signing off. Also, I have a new Kickstarter going, Tomorrow Girl, Volume 1, which is a throwback to the classic Silver and Bronze Age superheroes, but with a modern twist. It's currently on Kickstarter, and I hope you'll be a backer. Thank you so much. My name is Heidi Avori. I'm a 15-year-old student at Quagmire High School. 
It's in a small town where not much happens. But when trouble does arrive... That's when I become... Tomorrow Girl!